from a sleep at last welcome to another one of my videos please hit subscribe to be notified of when i do new videos and all the links to my social media channels and my free nap guide for babies four to twelve months is in the description below so be sure to check that out now this video is talking about the most common reason in my experience for early morning wakes from toddlers and babies there are various different reasons and if you would like to explore what those other reasons are please go and check out my other early morning wakes video which i will link here otherwise stick with this video because this is the most common number one reason but before i get into that i just want to talk about what is an early morning wake just so everyone's on the same page so i define an early morning wake as a baby or toddler who consistently wakes up before 6 a.m if you have a little one that's waking up from at 6 a.m. Or, or later, although it's still early because ideally they would sleep until 7 a.m., that is where you can make the assumption that perhaps they, they are just an early morning riser. Uh, there is such a thing as an early morning riser, and I will talk about that later as well in regards to the ones that wake before 6 a.m., but the ones that wake consistently 6 a.m. or later, if they're happy, they cope really well with that time, um, you'll kind of have an idea yourself then they probably are just an early riser and if you want them to wake later you'll have to put them to bed later it's as simple as that but when i'm talking about early morning wakes in this video it's referring to the little ones that are waking before 6 a.m and staying awake not going back to sleep at all getting up for the day this is not what we want we want to treat that wake as a night wake because it is still <clears throat> excuse me it is still nighttime essentially um if they aren't getting that sleep and they are waking for the day at 4 or 5 a.m., they are basically not getting their full night's sleep and they are getting a much, much reduced number of hours for their night's sleep. Babies and toddlers do all their developing, all their growing during the night, so you want the bulk of their sleep to be at night time. So it is really important if you are having a chronic early morning problem that you do get to the bottom of what's causing it and you fix that and it is fixable. But going back to my, you know, the point of this video, which is the number one reason why uh, little ones wake early that I find and it is overtiredness. Okay, so overtiredness has a lot to answer for. I do have a separate video on overtiredness as well, which I will link at the top also if you want to go and have a look at that. If you're not sure what overtiredness is, there's a lot to overtiredness. It's a term that's batted around a lot um, and I think a lot of people don't necessarily entirely understand it always. But yeah, the number one reason that I find little ones are waking early in the morning is usually overtiredness linked to their bedtime. So what time is bedtime? Now, most people seem to have this idea in their heads that little ones go to sleep at seven o'clock in the evening. There seems to be this whole um, idea that that's kind of like the best bedtime for babies and toddlers. And actually, a 7pm bedtime is not something that I would recommend for my clients until their toddler is more around age three, four. Um, even my youngest, who's just turned five, on days that she is at school, often needs to be in bed just before seven o'clock and will be asleep um, by the time seven o'clock comes around. Um, and that will be her slept through until seven or even up later than that, potentially, sometimes. Um, so yeah, bedtimes for babies and toddlers, I tend to recommend around about half past six. So if you've got a little one that's waking early in the morning and the bedtime is seven or later, the first thing I would do is move it earlier by at least half an hour, um, regardless of their age. If you've got um, a little baby that is having, you know, really short naps, uh, you know, cat napping, say, during the day, just like 30 minutes here and then, you know, they're not getting the day sleep that they need. They may need to go to sleep at six o'clock, quarter past six. Make sure you find out the number of hours that your baby needs to sleep during the day. If you're not sure, then, you know, download my free nap guide in the link in the comments below. And um, if they're getting a lot less than that, you would do well to try and um, you know work on prolonging their naps but while you're doing that bring the bedtime earlier six quarter past six and that will really help them to not go to bed overtired which is what's causing the early morning wake now often people will say to me oh my gosh no i am not putting them to bed that early because they will wake even earlier that is not true that is a myth 
So the way it works is that an overtired baby or toddler will have higher levels of cortisol, which is a non-sleepy hormone. And when they come into their lightest phase of sleep around four or five a.m., it is then harder for them to go back to sleep if their cortisol levels are high. Whereas if you get them to bed in the evening when the balance of their hormone of melatonin, which is sleepy hormone and cortisol is even, then that will help them in those early hours if they do wake up to go back to sleep. So um, that's what I would say. First things first, bring bedtime earlier and sometimes that solves it, you know, quite quickly. Again, just to reiterate as well, early morning wakes are difficult to remove. They're probably the, the thing that takes the longest that it's not going to change overnight just from changing the bedtime. So you need to give it at least one to two, sometimes three weeks if you've had a chronic overtiredness problem, uh, sorry, a chronic early morning wake problem for, you know, a lot many months. It's gonna take a, probably a minimum of three weeks, you know, to, to really nail it. So give yourself time and be patient and be consistent and just change one thing at a time as well. Um, so yeah, and then once they do start sleeping later, the way it, the way it works is that they tend to still wake up at that normal time because it's habitual now. But they will, if you if you leave them, and that's my other top tip as well, don't get them up because by getting them up at the early morning wake time that they wake up, you're kind of setting the circadian rhythm to start the day at that time. So then it becomes a habit. Their body clock just naturally wakes at that time. So leave them in their cot or their beds until as close to. 6 a.m as possible before you get them up and you'll start to see if bedtime is correct and they're not massively overtired that they will start take going back to sleep they may only have five minutes initially um, or 10 minutes at first but that's something and that will help them the next day and the next day after that uh, it's like a cumulative effect and eventually you'll start to see them take longer and longer before eventually they stop waking up at that time at all and sleep through to their natural wake up time, which for most of them will be about half past six or 7 a.m. So that's kind of my main tip with this video, guys. You know, I really wanted to hone in on the number one reason for these wakes and, and a quick win for you to implement now to get on top of them. Um, there is a lot more to early morning wakes, like I said, so go and check that video out. Um, definitely, if this has been an ongoing problem for a long time, if you want some support with this and some help to help resolve this, I, um, you know, I'm able to do that for you. That's what I help my clients with all the time. So feel free to book a call with me or DM me on Instagram or Facebook and we can chat about what's going on with your little one. Um, it might be that I can pinpoint for you straight away what the issue is, or it, it could be that I can give you some guidance as to how I can help further um, come up with a plan of action for how we can tackle this because you really do not need to be starting your day before 6am and as your child gets older and they grow and they go to school you know it will impact them if they're then used to waking up really early um, even if that's not their natural kind of wake up time so it is important that you do kind of get them the sleep they need and get them that kind of last chunk of night sleep essentially um, in the early hours. So I hope you found that useful, guys. Please hit like if you did. Put your comments in the in the comment section as well. Any questions you've got, happy to answer them. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for listening, guys.